Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Here's another workout vlog, your ass. Uh, we got weighted jump squats. This is good for a warm-up, especially if you're doing it on a squat day, your lower uh, percentage work. You can do jump squats with them. I did 185 pounds, five sets of five. Actually, a couple of those sets were 135 just to warm up the warm-up, let's say. Then I set a timer for 10 minutes and did as many sets of three as I could with cambered bar box squats. I believe I have 265 pounds on the bar. Uh, just showed you a camera angle of like how deep I'm going. It's until like the top of my thigh is parallel to the floor, maybe slightly less with my hip crease. Um, this is really good for building up the hips. This is really good for building up deadlifts as well. So if your deadlift strength sucks, instead of just hammering away deadlifts, try some box squats, uh, squats, box squats with a wider stance than usual, especially if you're a sumo puller. Then I moved into some split stance deadlifts where you put one foot back, you try and remain on your tippy toes as high as you can. And this puts more pressure on one leg. Um, it puts more pressure on one hamstring, one glute, just on one side altogether. And then it works your core in a very unique way. I did two sets of each for two sets of eight two sets of eight for each leg as you see i just skipped the part where i'm setting up put the other foot back and then go from there it's a very unique movement maybe it's a little bit more quote unquote sport specific but it's great for athletes i would give this a shot only 275 pounds i'm not trying to break the bank on anything and technically you're doing 16 reps of deadlifts because I like to rest very minimal between legs. So it does challenge in your, let's say, lungs and conditioning. Then I did some isometric. Then I did, I'm all over the place today. Then I did some Nordic hip hinges. Now, this is good because it gives you like an isometric contraction of your hamstrings, but at the top, you are getting hip extension so it's a great way of training both functions of the hamstring simultaneously now i'm also going to try loading this up with weight in the future and you'll see how that goes now as part of my ab tear rehab lunges were very painful because of where i tore it leads directly into the hip and kind of like into the adductor as well so remaining in this type of position does train that area and strengthen that muscle group and i've always heard that isometrics train uh, the tendons and ligaments of muscles way better so let's give it a shot see how this goes you have my ken sweet weighted vest and then i bounced back and forth between um uh those lunges as you just saw and these squatted i don't even want to call them seated but i guess squatted uh calf raises which hits your soleus as opposed to your gastrocnemius and that's really all there is for today have a great day